Easter stood his ground, was hit with jabs and straight right hands by Garcia. That's Garcia's found a home for that looping right hand around the guard of title Unicea in white blinding between the late Diego Curtis by the call by my it was an honor to do that fight as it is this and none by Garcia just of them Jackson's right here because at this distance Mikey can it's kind of course pop a balance that forced Mikey to get a little creative oh, we'll see. Sunshine State to work with friend Adrian Broner and tonight he is what lost to Mikey Garcia fight look to set up those counters Gil Clancy used to say all the time the great apple shorter fighter how you throw it so exactly and here's with a sweeping left chest match going but the judges have to be careful. Anything might be close, the crowd get right in there. Actually knocked down once. Easter became lightweight. But he is, he is, Javier Fortuna, many thought. Yeah, that was, and that's part of the reason the big underdog. Garcia Stowe with six knockouts against which is 20 more than he before that in the first round here and a guy that's going to waste punches so he's not going to throw more Easter and he wanted him to go and Garcia that's part of being a judge you have to keep him professional he to fight the Robert Bolton right now keep yeah him what he wants and you know Kevin continuing what he did at times when making the defensive moves and under a minute left in the second round one critique of Mikey Garcia pull up in front of his opponent yeah and commit a little more to the offense to make, take, take advantage of that and right now it's a little early to be able to do that yeah Garcia closing in and now Garfikin damaged I thought Easter did a smart thing there you attacked by smothering the earth Easter's best bet is to fight at this distance plus cutting off the ring 135 pound title from Navarati. Guess what? Other than the jab. So Easter has control against Garcia. For Mikey Garcia. With a 69 inch reach. Dehan's left teacher 570 inches and so. To go in and throw the hook. He is fighting discipline, but there's Garcia. A chance with Easter. Easter's got a nice jab going, but he's not fainting with it. Keeping Garcia at the end of his punch, but Garcia's normal game plan, not what he normally does. He's still comes to those fundamentals. He keeps that jab, he works behind himself. Garcia always remaining captain, but Robert Easter Jr., a huge under into this fight, wanting to, well, good hook there by Buck. Buck the odds and. Much better round for Garcia. 30 seconds left in the third round. Oh, Garcia for the right Martinez with a right hand in November 2013. We'll see how Mikey Garcia was able to get Easter down. A beautiful right hand followed by what else? A nice left hook by and Garcia. I'll tell you what, the jab puts Easter out yes. of position. It's that positioning on defense. Watch Easter's position when once Mikey Garcia shoots that jab. Watch. He puts Easter out of position here. Easter's looking to counter. Shoots the right hand. And of course, once he's out of position, he's there also for the hook. And that's different between Garcia and some other fighters. They would not have thrown that left hook yep. as effective. And why is he able to throw it out because he keeps that balance proper to keep following Perfect. up with more Between undefeated champions Mikey Garcia Mikey Garcia fainting jab many jabs in this round is Easter that's the first time uh, that has happened oh, jab yeah. out Left hook behind defense by blocking the shot so he can possibly go oh, more shots. Garcia. He's for us of Mikey. Her is not throwing the right hand, even though there's the danger of being countered by the left hook of Garcia. Defense enough. But Counters, you still don't create doubt. More punches being by just a couple of punches. Garcia, 30 seconds left. Garcia just misses a left hook to the body. Right hand hook upstairs. Mikey Garcia putting it on. Robert Easter. Garcia, who doesn't normally go to the opportunity. Yeah, Robert Easter Jr. Easter Jr. on the ropes. Garcia in attack mode, ripping to the body. And Easter defending what he thinks will be a head attack. And instead, it's Garcia going downstairs. And again, that's not what Garcia normally does. But he is able to sneak that left hook in because Easter's not countering. Bernstein, Pauli, Malinacci at ringside. Joined. And he's got the upper body move. Technical, textbook boxer. And his father and wife would be working the strawberry fields. And it has been the family's cut. Garcia now. You look at the pop. Yeah, he has taken control in this fight. Not monstrous numbers either way for either Manning. The better that. And of course, now Kevin Cunningham is a part of the body with a right hand. Yes.
Nails Garcia with an oddity. He's left hook upstairs by Garcia. Right uppercut left hook. Do a little bit more. Use that hit a little bit. Use it as a physical. Oh, uppercut. right uppercut of the end. You can't really get a timing on when he's going to shoot that jab or other shots. Perfect as well. So close round here though in round five. Easter back. Mikey Garcia Easter splits the guard. Easter able to pivot and reset in the center of the ring. And we haven't seen much of it, but we're worried about a cut as their heads collide. And Jack Reese, the referee, had taken note of that. And it, the head really looked like it could have done damage to Garcia, but it ended up not. And that's a good thing. Robert Easter Jr. sits for all 21 of his pro bouts. He's like twice boiled himself. Uh, first 17 fights. Then in his last four tough distance and had two split to see the power puncher he was. The jab. Garcia's eyes on Robert Easter. Easter coming. Easter pops the shots or make that headshots landed by but in the early part of the Robert's gonna have to change that jab to a little oh, bit more aggressive. Lead left. Meaning it's to set up offense instead of just to otherwise Mikey's gonna stay in this rhythm. And for Allen and that's one of the continuing that. And that's catch that. Everything is behind the jab for Easter, but like Paul, not varying or diversifying and single shooting with the jab while Mikey to find a way inside. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what? Simple. Punches to Garcia. Yeah. Like this, yeah, I'd say Robert yeah. wins around. But the thing is, Mikey only has to land one or two right hands. And, and there, it takes the point. Leah lands a combination, smothering Easter along the ropes. Easter trying to the attack of Mikey Garcia. Garcia lands a right hand. Easter rolled with it, misses though with these rights. Wants to land that left hook. And here you see him go low. And even though Easter protected himself with the the right glove, he was still able to land it. But look at Easter land that nice jab. And when they're on the inside there, Easter trying to hold, Garcia doing the right thing, working. Not everything is going to land. But these kind of rallies can be enough for him maybe to, to, uh, to change a close round. And that was a close round in the last round. Whether it was enough to get him the round remains to be seen. Not everything landing. In fact, Easter doing a pretty good job of rolling on those punches. So, so in the white, black, and green. That's with 16 punches. That was him. That may be around that. He ran also with claims to score. Steve Farrod, how do you have these to the last two rounds? Although the judges, how many jabs equals one power punch? And, that, and that's holding the pace, controlling the distance. He jabbed. And the other thing is going to land it, but that's one of the small negatives. So keeping him from achieving the pin with a good jab, sometimes you you lower his output and diminish his output. Left in round three from a Garcia to the chin. But it is a close encounter after six rounds. Garcia trying to score with the upright ends up going. You have to admire Robert Easter after that knockdown. Not getting wild. He is continuing. Yeah, and I, and I, I, I like the adjustment too on beating. He's held his ground sometimes. Oh, good jab for Robert Easter Jr. 45. And sometimes you're holding, holding your ground. Like it prevents Mikey from gaining like a train. You know, you get forward momentum. Does oh, and right uppercut on the inside. So want to retreat to the ropes where Garcia can work. Uppercut can be a key for, for Robert. It's hard to catch Mikey over the balance. Maybe right? Underneath. Behind the guard. Oh, good one. Two. Round. It's a good round and a close one. And that's the thing. The, 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 Easter, the jab has been a staple of his attack and doubling with it. Look, to the head, then down to the body, using it to control a lot of this fight and landing with it. It's not as if he hasn't landed. Then later on in the round, Garcia using his own jab to do what? And set up a, a kind of wide right hand that gets through the guard. And, it's, and, and that really is a microcosm of how this fight has gone. Scheduled for 12 as Easter again comes out, follows up with a right hand. His father, Robert, he has an effective jab, but needs to... This is past seven, obviously, they're undefeated. Adjust is down earlier in the fight. Round the ring or try to cut off the dirt. It's not his natural style. So the question is... Take any to easily swing the pendulum the other way. But if you can actually control yeah. and win the round just on the jab and movement. Final Easter to use his physical to Mason. You know, Easter game plan throughout this fight. So worked on balance, footwork, and other subtleties. But again, only so much weight from the ropes. It seems from him it would be effective.
push him to the ropes where he can do it. Then there he does it. It's a body, and Robert does that. Using some head movement, fainting. As Easter along the ropes, Easter with the peekable guard. Inches, but Easter defending well. He's thrown four so far in this round, so. And I also like what Kevin Cunningham said, move him into some shots. Because of course, you don't want to get yeah. reckless and walk into a shot from Garcia. So exactly. move him into some shots. And Garcia and Easter sometimes two. Cheer in between Garcia and Easter. And Easter sometimes. Oh, sharp one, two, cushion, but a counter left hook by Easter. Up here in round nine. I guess Easter said forget And this is what Mikey got wanting to load Robert Easter into this kind of fight. Landing some nice shots. Stylistically, not what. You know what I like about the character of Easter. He said, "Okay, I've got to make something, make something happen to win this fight." And now it's Garcia scoring with the jab, followed by the. This Mikey Garcia's fight, this kind of fight, gives himself a chance. To... Left hook to the body by him with the right hand. Under a minute left in the night. Throwing the most punches in there. Easter backed up by that one two from Garcia. 40% of his punches so. And all of a sudden, Easter's jab has gone missing as Mikey Garcia leads him to the ninth. Oh. Garcia backing Easter up for the strong round number nine. Fighting round of the fight. Easter stood his ground, was hit with jabs and straight right hands by Garcia. That's Garcia's found a home for that looping right hand around the guard of Easter. Now, Easter stood his ground and did things like landing that left hook, but ultimately it didn't serve him as well as he wanted to. Now, there you see him cranking up the hook. I was wondering at what point in the fight would Easter feel like he had to start to throw that punch. That was a nice combination early on in the round for him. That was the last time he was able to truly gain control of the round. Then Mikey Garcia came back using the jab in the right hand and ripping left hooks as well. Again with the jab. Junior opponent has landed again. Most action-packed round of the 22 of 53. But now he's still allowed to. I think he's got to go back to establish he, 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 what he did last round is needed. Mikey Garcia is taking control of this fight. Interesting. Easter used the ring a lot in round eight. Seemed to be the ground. Garcia landed. Garcia trying to keep. Mikey did a good job cutting the ring off. Garcia attacking the body, then going to bleed. Ropes more and more in the last four or five stand life round. It was good for a second, but he seemed like he made a to recover from it. Shot Garcia. Backs Easter to the rope. Yeah, but enough getting in yeah. and they, that, uh, that Easter has in this round, and that's... And Garcia now being able to probe the deep... Trying to get that oxygen back if Garcia is able to peel off. And Garcia on the... As we on the horizon, 10th lightweight title unified in history between undefeated champions Mikey Garcia and Robert Easter Jr. Going to round... Very big round for Garcia, and you know, he had... Uh, Easter against the ropes, using the jab and the straight right, which has become his combination of choice in this fight. And while Easter tries to hold, Garcia rips the body as well. Garcia landed 40% of his punches in that last round, according to show stats. And against the ropes, it's not a good posture for uh, Easter. Not everything getting in, but enough of those punches will get in, like that last left hook, which you threw around the guard of uh, Easter. And also Garcia keep looking to well hope Los Angeles Grister has gone 12 rounds in his last two of them split this uh, he's obviously on Sia he far has certainly thinks so Junior has no not the salient point this but a black girl <laughs> that's right Ryan nail a good ride in this fight yeah. and his last fight against Sergey lets the guard with the right hand and another one two from Garcia vignettes Garcia saving grace against the, the top lip and yet now the power shots that he is putting on you. Does what had before his layoff of two and wants to mark himself the middle of that time and books much of an attack report. Garcia if he does. since returning to the squared circle jab from Robert Easter Jr. Loud to he's putting together the punches. 
Easter unable to do so, Paul. Like I said but earlier in the fight, his movement and more standing his ground and blocking, but he's still locking oh. his own defense up. Press one-two combination, right hand that scored. Yeah, and finally is that. You want to be able to transition that defense to all. And a lot of times he tightens up. Maple center for this big title unification fight. But right now, uh, it's... Yeah, on exactly. the battlefront as well. 30 of Garcia's 38 victories have come via form of knockout and now in close just... So when Easter's planted right here, he can be careful once Easter goes into that retreat oh, mode. Oh, counter left hook upstairs by Easter. A minute and a half remaining. Go oh, Easter. Well set up from a feint. Nice counter left hook by Easter. At this point, though, I said don't pitch as you want if you think you can land it. 25 seconds left in erupt here at Staples Center in Los Angeles. Mikey Garcia only wants to face the best. And tonight, he is, he is one of the best undefeated champion in... three in favor of the winner by unanimous decision he is now the undefeated and the unified wbc and ibf lightweight champion of the world mikey